What's going on guys and welcome to another episode of the Basement Tutorials. This is episode four and today we have Pat Spencer's tutorial. So obviously he's made the choice to go into basketball, not lacrosse, but he is a lacrosse legend for sure. And everyone always wondered what his stick setup was. So he used to use the Under Armour Vital, which is a harder to find, more rare head. So today I'll be replicating his pocket in the Rebel Offense because you can take this pattern and use it in a lot of different heads. So his pattern, is a little unique in the way that he does a couple things, but overall it makes a really great pocket and this is something that I would actually recommend for a lot of you guys. So it's nice and mid, shifts up a little bit, has a lot of hold. Uh, one thing he does a little different is he's got three nylon shooters and no regular ones for what I imagine is a lot of snap, but it's a great pocket, so let's dive into the sidewall tutorial. We have our top string, nine diamond top string on the second hole, so we're gonna start out on the third. Like I said before, this is a little bit of a funky pattern, so I tried to clean it up a little bit uh, while keeping it true to the way he strings it and also the way it's gonna feel. So we're gonna start out with a uh, double loop, third uh, sidewall hole with the first hole of mesh, so just looping that first hole of mesh twice to that third sidewall hole. Um, pretty simple, that's how we start pretty much every single pattern. So now, this is the funky one. Uh, we're gonna take the string, skip one hole, and go straight to the outside of the fifth hole. So skipping one and coming right and going straight through the outside of that hole. So you've got the string on the inside of the head. Now we're gonna do a single loop. So through the mesh up and under and back around and through the outside of that same sidewall hole. So similar to how you start the head, he does a loop down on the second one. Um, and then finishing by going back up through the front of the mesh and back around. So you've got double loop and then a single loop here. And from here on out, um, it's gonna be normal interlocks. So that's the only slightly odd part. So he's got a pretty tight channel. So to pull the channel down, we're gonna skip one, two sidewalls and do an interlock. So we're take the string, go through the outside of the sidewall, up through that third diamond of mesh and right under that string to create the interlock and make sure you're getting this mesh on the inside of the sidewall. We don't want it to sit on the top or the outside, we want it to sit on the inside so it makes that channel nice and narrow. Um, and now we're gonna do one more interlock without skipping any holes. So you see the interlock gets loose when you let it go. So we'll have to go back and tighten that. So another interlock without skipping any holes. Next sidewall hole. And before you pull this tight, you wanna go back and tighten that, that first one, hold that tight. And then this one, you can tighten that down onto the top of the back of the side rail. Next, we're gonna do one more standard interlock. So in through the outside of the side hole, up through the mesh, and then under that string loop, making sure to pull all the tension out of there, making it nice and tight. So you can see that's gonna give us uh, that nice channel that we want and then we're gonna go through and do ones. So now we're gonna go straight to the mesh up from the face. Make sure to pull on that mesh to make it sit right and then through the outside of the side wall and then through the loop without going back through the mesh. That's gonna create your one. Now we're gonna do that one more time without skipping any side wall holes. So this will sort of bunch that pocket up a little bit and create a nice pocket after that channel. All right, now we're gonna do a one, but with skipping a sidewall hole, we'll space out a little bit here at the bottom. So skip one right there. And so he's actually gonna use 11 diamonds in his pattern, which I generally don't recommend. We can make that work with the bottom string. So up through the bottom of the 10th mesh hole, and then down through the back of the 11th creating that kind of bunch at the bottom, which some players do. Um, and then we're gonna go through the very bottom sidewall hole to finish it off. All right, so you have a sidewall pattern for the bottom string. You're gonna do just a standard loop on the very last row that you did the sidewall on, so that 11th row. And then for the shooters, like I mentioned, he does three nylons, so two stacked at the top and then one a little lower. This is gonna hit really hard and snap a lot. Um, you could keep those two snack nylons and switch that bottom one to a regular shooter and this would turn out really nice. So thanks for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe for more tutorials. I'll have another video for you next week. We're doing player requests every Wednesday. 
So leave your request for whose pocket you want me to replicate down in the comments. Like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't, and have a great day.